welcome back. We're at Exodus chapter 20. We're going through all the book of Exodus, 40 chapters, but right now in chapter 20, we're going through, of all things, the Big Ten, the Ten Commandments. So today we're uh, at verse 9, and people might be unhappy that we're going to take some time just with verse 9, but let's read it and see what it says. Maybe we are at fault and God is not at fault. Verse 9 says, Six days you shall labor and do all your work. And say, Pastor, you're taking a sentence fragment there. Well, this is an important, it's all one piece in that verse. And a lot of people are not treating God's things God's way. Okay, so this is the fourth of the Ten Commandments. It's the Sabbath commandment. It's the seventh day of the week. We talked about it yesterday. Sundown Friday through sundown Saturday. Uh, many Christians observe this day because this is part of the Ten Commandments. So remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. We found yesterday morning, the seventh day. But now we're getting into the explanatory part that God has put in. And we find, find what? Six days you shall labor. Well, which six days are those? Because this is part of the commandment too. And a lot of people have this kind of down backwards. It's like, okay, uh, Sunday's the day we go to worship. And we work on the second day, Monday, through Friday. And that's like five days. And then we take Saturday off. So the idea that many people have is that perhaps at verse 9 should read, five days you shall labor and do all your work. Then you take Saturday off, then you go to church on Sunday. But that's not what it says. Six days are given for labor. So labor is an important part, the common duties of life, the things you do to earn a living, keep your family, you know, food for your family and gas in the gas tank. Six days you've got for that. Those are okay. Those are all work days. And in the week, there are seven days. The first six, day one, day two, day three. In the Bible, they're all basically called day one, day two, day three. The sixth day is often called the preparation day. And the seventh day is called Sabbath or Shabbat. But other than the sixth day and the seventh day, every day is just a number in the Bible. Uh, so, but here we're told we're supposed to be working for six days. And uh, I just saw an item last week, I believe, that in Europe they're going, trying to go to a four-day work week. But anyway, I wanted to just line in on this. Six days you shall labor and do all your work. Now, how much of our, of our common labor are we supposed to do in those six days? Well, it says all, all your work. So we're going to contrast this tomorrow morning with the next line in our commandment. But I think it's important to notice that the Sabbath is not just, some people think the Sabbath is just, oh yeah, the, there's a certain group of Christians that take off that day and they go out and they go water skiing on that day. No, we wouldn't go out and go water skiing on that day. There's a day for worship, the seventh day in this commandment. And that day is not for any kind of uh, doing our own business. Go and look at Isaiah 58, 13 and 14, if you thought that was true. Uh, this is the day to come together in fellowship with each other, with like-minded people who are seeking Jesus. And it's a beautiful day, a beautiful blessing, a day for the family to be together, a day for the family to be together in worship, a day to be in church with your brothers and sisters that are also seeking God's ways. So I want you to notice that the Sabbath commandment is not a lazy commandment at all. That's kind of my main point today, right? It encompasses all the seven days of the week, but there are six days that are set apart that are, you know, go ahead and, and do the things that constitute work. Do all the things for you that constitute work. And then on the seventh day, you're going to treat that day, well, according to verse 8 yesterday, we're going to treat this day holy. It's a holy and blessed day. So yes, this isn't a lazy day. The Sabbath is, is a special day. And there are six days to sort out your many details. Six days to uh, look at screens or six days to uh, go to the store and buy groceries or gasoline for your vehicle or whatever it is. But there is a day that's different. So well, let's keep on and see what we find out tomorrow morning. All right. God bless you and you have a beautiful day this day.